All right, hello everyone, this is Mr. Crozier. I'm going to go over a practice quiz here. I um, have all the answers boxed here for you, but the first one, uh, problem number one, you're going to want to make sure you write this twice and FOIL this. You cannot distribute the squared in there, so uh, write it twice, FOIL it, combine your like terms. Um, you can't divide here, so you multiply by the conjugate, and that's what you'll see there. I multiplied by um, 4 plus i instead of 4 minus i, and it will make everything work. Um, on number three, distribute this in here, and then add them up. Um, on the top one, FOIL this first, then multiply by the conjugate. The last one, I chose to FOIL these together first, and then distribute the two in there, but you could have distributed the two. On number six, make this root 18i, and then simplify that, and you'll see you'll have something in common here. Number three, solving this equation three ways. Factoring, um, subtracting and taking the square root, and the quadratic formula. Remember the quadratic formula is ax squared plus bx plus c is zero. The b value is zero right there. Um, all three ways you get plus or minus seven i. Um, down here, I, I subtracted this over, multiplied through a 2, and then I factored. But again, you could have done quadratic formula right there. On this one, however, factoring will not work, so I have to do quadratic formula. Factoring is usually easier. Quadratic formula always works. And on the second one, or number 10, I went ahead and I factored this. This is a difference of squares. What you could do is write this as x squared being squared minus 6 being squared. So we have x squared minus 6, x squared plus 6. This leads us to plus or minus root 6. This leads us to the same thing, but with an i. And once you get to this point, you can factor it, solve it this way, or quadratic formula. Factoring is usually the easiest. All right, on page two, a lot of um, factoring here going on. Um, I factor out an x, and I factor it by grouping, and I have these three terms. This one can get split up this way, and there's my solutions. On 12, factored it this way, there's my four factors and solutions. Number 13, factored it here by grouping, and then I have two parts. This part goes this way, this part goes this way. Another option here would be to factor out the 2 and make it look like this to lead us directly to that solution. If you do that, don't forget to leave this 2 out there, but I'm not going to be too picky about that one. Factor it out in h here, and then this is a difference of squares because this can be written as h squared minus 9 squared, which is minus 9 plus 9. Factor out a t. Factor by grouping, you'll have your solutions. Same deal here, but I factored out an x, 2x squared. You can write it like this. You could write it like this. Uh, 0 is a double root. There's 0, 0, and then I have my four solutions here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, going on to this back. Um, first number. 3 minus 2i is down here. This is 3 minus 2i. This is 3 plus 5i. And if you add those together, you have 6 plus 3i. First vector, second vector, sum of the vectors. This vector could be brought up here. And you do the first vector, then the second vector, you get there. Same deal here. I went negative 6i and negative 4, 2i. And then you put them together, and this is negative 4 plus negative 4i. And you could have gone this way and then take that vector straight down that way. All right, polynomials, write them like this. Foil the, or distribute this in here, distribute this in here, foil this, multiply these two together, and there you go. On this one, you have the first two, second two. It gives us these two polynomials, and then you have to factor all three of these times both of these. 3 times 2 is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There you go. Do the math. Simplifies down to here. Uh, 21, fundamental theorem of algebra. If a polynomial, or if f of x, if you want to make it simple, 
has degree n, then there's n roots. If degree n, then n roots. There's a simple example. Uh, linear factorization theorem. If it has these zeros, then this is a solution. Don't forget we can stick an a in there, just an amplitude, a constant. But if these are the solutions, then this is the equation, x minus, x minus, x minus, all the way till the end. So when you're thinking of the theorems, always try to remember, think of them as if then. If degree n, then n roots. If these solutions, then it's written like this. All right. Hope this helps with the homework. If you have questions, I will see you in class.